Located just 30 miles west of the mighty Glacier National Park in northern Montana, the town of Whitefish is a unique year-round destination. On the banks of Whitefish Lake, this small enclave not only has great water activities, but also many fine eateries, great shopping opportunities, and a wide variety of accommodations. Get your heart racing year-round at the Whitefish Mountain Resort. Try your hand at fishing in Whitefish Lake. Fall asleep slopeside in the Snow Bear Chalet. Be sure to watch till the end to learn all about this incredible mountain town. Traveling to Whitefish can be an experience in itself. Visitors can fly into Glacier International Airport in Kalispell, Montana, just south of Whitefish. They can also fly into Spokane, Washington to the west, or Great Falls, Montana to the east. However, aside from driving in, the most scenic choice of arrival is by rail. Amtrak has a stop in Whitefish, along the Great Northern Railway, stretching from Chicago, Illinois to Seattle, Washington. And once you get here, there's an impressive array of attractions, hotels, and restaurants to occupy travelers for many days. One of the major draws to Whitefish is its proximity to Glacier National Park. Located just 30 miles to the west, Glacier is one of the crown jewels of the United States National Park System. Get lost in this vast wilderness and be on the lookout for all sorts of wildlife, including bear, elk, moose, mountain lions, and bighorn sheep. Keep your phone handy as you drive the unforgettable Going to the Sun Road, as the scenery will be among some of the most impressive in the western United States. Massive mountains, actual glaciers, and abundant wildlife are all within reach when you visit Glacier National Park. Travelers who are looking to make a splash should definitely check out Whitefish Lake. Two places offer great swimming spots in the lake, City Beach and Whitefish Lake State Park. At City Beach, visitors can not only swim in the lake, but also have a picnic on the shaded grass or picnic tables overlooking the lake. In the summer months, Whitefish Outfitters and Tours is on hand at City Beach, offering kayak and paddle boat rentals. Another great swimming spot is Whitefish Lake State Park, located on the western edge of Whitefish Lake. Enjoy incredible scenery as you swim in a true glacial lake. Whitefish Lake State Park should not be missed if you want to swim with the view. There is no set beach, just look for the signs pointing to the swimming area. Whitefish Lake is not the only water in proximity to Whitefish. Another excellent lake, about a 30 minute drive to the south, is Flathead Lake. Flathead Lake is among the largest lakes in Montana. Unlike Whitefish Lake, there are numerous towns around the lake, such as Somers, Dayton, Polson, and Woods Bay. There is also Wild Horse Island, a small island along the western banks of Flathead Lake so named for the handful of wild horses that are descendants of the horses kept by the Salish Kutenai people. Visitors can enjoy boating, swimming, fishing, and parasailing. Far West Boat Tours and Flathead Lake Boat Tours are two excellent companies that make daily cruises of the lake. If you are traveling in the area in the summer months, be sure to book these tours a few months in advance as they sell out quickly. After a long day exploring Glacier National Park or swimming in Whitefish Lake, Travelers need to rest and recharge their batteries. Not to fear, there is an impressive array of accommodations in Whitefish. Among the more unique stays in Whitefish, Base Glamp will pamper you with all kinds of luxury. Located just 15 minutes north of Whitefish, Base Glamp is a collection of 12 unique geodesic domes. Come stay and enjoy glamping at its best. Closer to town is the upscale Grouse Mountain Lodge, this classic mountain lodge offers guests 163 standard hotel rooms, a fine restaurant, and a world-class spa. Imagine soaking in a hot tub outside as you gaze out at the snow-covered forest and mountains. At the Grouse Mountain Lodge, this dream can become a reality. In the warmer months, enjoy a round of golf on the Whitefish Lake Golf Course adjacent to the lodge. In the colder months, join the Glacier Nordic Center on the trails of the golf course and enjoy world-class cross-country skiing. Travelers looking for incredible downhill skiing with abundant fresh powder should definitely not miss the Whitefish Mountain Resort. With an impressive array of black diamonds, blue squares, and green circles, Whitefish Mountain Resort has a trail for every skill level. Seasoned skiers will love Hell Roaring Basin, a massive bowl filled with steep downhills and all kinds of obstacles on the back side of the main mountain. For those seeking a ski run that is a bit more tame, they should check out Tony Matt, 
which offers a gentle way down the front side of the main mountain at Whitefish Mountain Resort, offering incredible views of the surrounding countryside and the main resort. The resort offers a great ski school for all ages and an on-site daycare for little ones ages six months to six years. But be sure to get reservations in advance as spots here at this daycare fill up quickly. Whitefish Mountain Resort isn't just open in the winter. Yes, the slopes close down for skiing and snowboarding in mid-April, but by late May are open again for the summer tourist season, which stretches into late August. If you are here in the summer months, you can enjoy miles and miles of hiking trails, mountain biking trails, and plenty of scenic vistas. There is also a mountain biking school, staffed by many of the same people that are part of the ski snowboard program in the winter. What a life! There is also a nature center at the top of the mountain, where visitors can learn more about the abundant wildlife and plant species in the area. After enjoying a day on the slopes or enjoying the other outdoor activities that Whitefish has to offer, from having drinks at the Bow Club restaurant overlooking Whitefish Lake to a sumptuous fine dining experience at Cafe Kandahar, Whitefish definitely has it all when it comes to a great selection of restaurants. If you were looking for comfort food earlier in the day that is adored by locals, head over to Lula's. Their fresh from scratch dishes include meat, dairy, and produce sourced from local farms. Another restaurant that visitors should not miss if they are looking for locally sourced fare is Casey's Bar and Grill. They are famous for their elk chili and beef short ribs with huckleberry glaze. For fine dining, head north to Cafe Kandahar. This splendid eating establishment follows the trend of numerous other restaurants, getting locally sourced fare. Whitefish has a connection to its food. From restaurants to farms and back again, residents are invested in consuming food that is local to the Whitefish area. Now, there is also a restaurant that deserves some attention that visitors need to stop in at least once on their trip to Whitefish. And this restaurant is the Bulldog Saloon. Initially a doctor's and dentist's office over 100 years ago, during the Prohibition era of the 1920s, when alcohol was officially outlawed in the United States, the pastime pool hall, as it was called, was a haven for gambling, drinking, gun sales, and perhaps any other nefarious activity that comes to mind. The establishment survived those years and came to be known under the name that it has now, after the local high school mascot, the Bulldog. Order anything on the menu and you'll be satisfied. And do not be afraid to talk to people about all that makes Whitefish unique. The town actually gets its name after Whitefish Lake. In the mid-1850s, trappers who were working the rivers of the Flathead Valley came upon a group of Native Americans who were pulling a native fish species, the Whitefish, from a lake. The group's members were likely part of the Katunai people, a Native American tribe who has inhabited the area around Whitefish and Whitefish Lake for over 14,000 years. The Bidrut Salish and the Penduarelli peoples also had a significant presence in the area before the arrival of European settlers. John Morton was the first permanent European settler, building his cabin on the banks of Whitefish Lake in 1883. Whitefish truly is a unique destination in the western United States packed with numerous different attractions that celebrate the inescapable beauty of the region. Whitefish is a destination that is definitely worth exploring. With so much to see and do in this town, it is impossible to see it all in one trip. Find yourself coming first in summer and returning for a ski vacation the next winter. Come and enjoy all that this incredible destination has to offer.